So whether you believe it or not, this time of year is the least favorite time for old Steven to fish. So welcome back to Turner Fishing. I'm your host, Steven Turner. Post spawn crappy fishing can be one of the most frustrating times of year for a crappy fisherman. It's either A, you're gonna catch a boatload, or B, you're gonna struggle and either not find any, or you're gonna catch very few. So in today's video, I'm gonna be covering some little tips and tricks over the past 20 something years that I've figured out that will help you put some more fish in your boat. So first and foremost, we're just gonna explain what the fish are currently doing. Um, I live in South Carolina. It is early April. Everything's spawning here. The bass are spawning, the herring spawning, there's a shad spawn going on. And of course, the crappy spawn and the bluegill's about to push up and spawn too. Uh, as far as uh, the gar are even spawning because they're all up in my frog holes. But a lot are done spawning. I believe a lot of crappy spawned when we had that cold front. See, white crappy likes 60 degree water, but black crappy will actually spawn 55 to 60 degree water. And we had that water for like three weeks. So all my locals that are out on the lake trying to find spawning fish and you're frustrated because you're not finding them, they're probably already spawned and they're into post spawn. That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So post spawn crappy, what, are, what does that mean? That means they're, they're spawned out. But there's two types, two types guys. You've got fry garters, which is gonna be the males. They're gonna be the black, you know, they got their suits on. They, they did the happy happy, they got to wear their little suit. Got it, all right. Now the other one's gonna be your females. That's the ones you want, that's the bigger ones. The males, they're fun to catch though, so you gotta kinda choose. So that's what we're gonna go over. We're gonna go over how to catch the males, and then we're gonna go over how to try to catch the females, because they are the tricky, tricky, tricky ones. So the males. All right, you've got your spawning pocket. You know, you've caught them cork and jig, jigging bushes, jigging stumps. But what a lot of people fail to realize is a man-made lake has a lot of what? Docks. Shallow, shallow docks. So if you're in a creek channel, a creek, you know, I know 99% of the creeks or channels on my home body, Lake Murray, has a dock somewhere on that in that creek. Probably a lot of them. Most of them have 20 or 30 docks in every creek. The shallow docks are excellent this time of year. Now, why is that? because they will actually spawn on these docks and when they do, they're gonna hold on them docks. So if you've got a lot of docks in six to three feet of water and they've got an area of one to three feet that they can push over due to happy happy and then push back to that dock, there's probably a few on them docks and worth checking out. Now, if you have male and female on the dock, the males are aggressive as all get out. You want to throw the brightest, brightest lure, you know, like a, a bright orange or, let's see, a crappy man green. Y'all already know. <laughs> but the size matter for this i would say no and yes at the same time it depends on the size of the fish that's there if you've got 12 13 14 inch males then yeah throw a bigger bait like the fluke or the beaver but majority of the time you're going to have your 8 to 11 inch males i mean don't go out there not throwing a, a little minnow. This is uh, a new color I'm gonna try out. Right, no, this ain't it, hold on. This is a new color. I'm actually gonna try out 
real soon. Let's try it right here. If it'll focus. But it's kind of like, uh, I know a lot of companies have a color called Mountain Dew, but this is basically Crappy Man Green without, you know, the stuff that we put in it to make it sparkle, but with blue flake. So Crappy Man Green with blue flake, pretty much, without the, the sparkle. I don't, I don't even know how to explain that, and I'm the one that makes it. But anyways, <laughs> that is an awesome color, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to do phenomenal. But bright colors for the males. Females, females, or what you call, like, how do I explain a female's mood right now? In order to catch the females, let's try to explain what kind of mood they're in. Basically, you know, for all my adults that's watched the channel, say you got drunk, you got a hangover, you just woke up, you got a headache, you don't really want to eat something, but you know you got to eat something. That's kind of what mood they're in. They just got done spawning, they, you know, did all that, they pushed all their eggs out, whatever. They're tired. They're tired, they're lazy, and they want to feed up on shad and minnows and you know whatever else is out there little they'll, they'll even eat other crappies fry so have that in consideration when you're trying to match the hatch they they, they will eat each other but i mean honestly nothing will outproduce a monkey milk little minnow or a monkey milk swim bait this time of year for those those fe post spawn females Monkey milk, in my opinion, is the most natural looking color for shad, minnows, whatever. And you can fish it in clear or dirty water and it works phenomenal. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't other colors, baits that look more like a shad or a minnow. They, they are, don't get me wrong. But that one imitates both of them. They're able to see it in stained or clear water and it, it just works phenomenal. But how do you target these bigger females? Like I was saying, they're gonna spawn one, three feet of water. They're gonna get out there and do the happy, happy. If your water's clear, don't leave me a comment down below. My fish are spawning in five, six feet. Cool for you. It still applies to you. If your fish are spawning in five, six feet of water, you want to look in like six to 10 feet of water. If your fish are spawning in one to three feet of water, you want to look in three to six feet of water. Now, what do you want to look for? Small brush piles, stumps out there in the middle of the creek channels, or shallow docks. I'm telling you guys, shallow docks are key this time of year. You know, I'm hoping I can get out there before everything turns over. I don't like fishing that way, but I do want to make a video of casting at shallow docks and actually catching them. I don't know if I'm going to do it this year. I got a pretty good amount of stuff going on with uh crappy man jigs right now but i'm gonna try to get out there and make a shallow water video but if not guys go out there find your your shallow water docks and six to three feet of water now you want to fish them fast don't be fishing them slow and you basically want to fish like a swim bait see the tail action on that thing you want something that you can fish fast that's why i suggest the swim bait or the minnow that way you know you throw it down the dock and you kind of burn it back you know it's not a granny crawl time of year you want to burn and cover water if you have live scope it makes it 10 times faster but if you don't pick a row of docks fish every dock until you get a bite and once you get a bite, don't think that it's stacked. This time of year, they're not gonna be stacked. You may get two fish off a dock and, and it's gonna take you 10 more docks to get another fish. You may hit the mother load. And if you do, that's freaking awesome. But most of the time, this time of year, the fish are gonna be really spread out. You're gonna to have to cover a lot of water 
in order to get a limit in your boat. So anyway, guys, I hope I shed some light on this whole post spawn thing. You basically want to fish about three feet deeper than what they're spawning and you want to follow them out. The hotter the water gets, the deeper they're going to go. And once that water temp gets to around 70, 75, that's when it starts getting good again. That 65 to 70, it's a struggle bus, guys. A, it really is a struggle bus out there. But you can still get on them. It just takes a little bit more effort. 